Hey y'all, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we about to get into what I'm working on, my new business. I'm so excited about it and I wanna bring y'all along on the journey. So first things first, don't forget to like and subscribe right now, right down below. I know you see it, so let's get into it, okay? Let's get into it. All right, so I am starting my first business and I am super excited. I've been working on this for the last year partially because I was scared to do it and then I finally decided okay I'm just gonna I'm just jump in and I'm starting a candle business and I'm super excited I didn't know anything about candles other than the fact that I liked buying them and I learned how to make them and I decided hey I have a great idea I have a cool idea a little twist on my concept of candles and why not just try to make some money off of it? Cause you know we trying to boss up in 2020. We just trying to boss up. So I wanna, I wanna, I wanna boss up with y'all. You know what I'm saying? What y'all doing to boss up? Comment down below right now. What are y'all doing to boss up in 2020? Fuck this pandemic. And you know, let's not worry about it. You know, cause the money is out here and the money is here to be made. So let's get into it. So first things first. I know a lot of people want to know, like, well, why did you decide to start making candles? And why did you decide to make this your business? And for me, I didn't, I, I, I wasn't expecting to make this into a business. I had an idea, like I said in my last video, I knew I wanted to have some sort of business, but I just didn't know what to do. And I spent so many days, so many nights, so many hours watching Shark Tank. And I was like, this could be me. This could be me. Why am I on Shark Tank? And so... I had an idea and my first idea was to make a subscription box and this was about a year ago and I was like man I want to make a subscription box what kind of subscription box do I want to make and I realized I wanted to make a wellness box and in that wellness box I wanted to have a, an assortment of products and I realized that when I was trying to outsource these products from companies and get samples or trying to learn how I could jump into the subscription box business it was really expensive because one I didn't know where to start and two if I had to buy these samples and like buy these things first just to get these sample boxes to be able to sell, it would cost me so much money and honestly the profit wasn't going to be a lot. So I thought to myself, well I could just start making some of the products, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, what is the most expensive thing in the box that I wanted to have? And candles were. And I thought, why not just make some candles to put in these boxes? And when I first started making candles, I realized that I really enjoy making candles one and two I already liked candles like I always bought candles spent a lot of money on candles and now I can make them myself and I realized that I, I didn't want to do a subscription box business anymore and I shifted my perspective into just making some candles and that was a lesson for me because I was spending all this time all this energy trying to understand or try to figure out what I wanted to do what kind of business I wanted to have and I realized that sometimes the ideas that we have will take us to where we really want to be and if I would have just stopped because I did just think about stopping and being like well, it's too expensive to do a subscription box, so I'm just not gonna do anything at all. And the next idea I have, I'll just run with it. But instead, I was persistent and I kept trying and I kept looking and I just kept trying to find ways to make this vision happen and to build my first business. And I got candles. So, is it hard to make candles? Uh, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's not hard, hard. It's not a lot of effort, but it is a lot of time and a lot of studying and a lot of getting to know your waxes. So I will recommend that if you are starting a candle business, pay attention to your waxes. Pay attention to what kind of wax that you want. And I would suggest trying new waxes, trying new things, seeing what works best for you. Because what might work for someone else might not be the best for you and your business and your vision. So... Yeah. I wanted to let y'all know a list of things that you guys will need when starting a candle business. Um, some things that I used when I first started. Some websites do offer candle making kits. I would say that's how I started and I would recommend it only because it's a great way to even decide if this is something that you even like doing or even want to continue doing um, once you've started to make them for the first time. and. It, it, it allows you to see what that process is like. I got my candle making kit from Candle Science and in that kit it had 
some wicks, it had some jars, it had wax, it had everything that I needed. It had a um, the melting pot and a thermometer because those are all things that you need when you're gonna be making your candles. You know what I'm saying? You got your tools. They supply you with the tools. And I think the only thing that I did not have, or maybe I did have, was a stirring stick. I use a stirring stick, but I think I did have a stirring stick. I don't remember. But Candle Science have has one. I know there are other companies out there. I think Bum Brumbleberry, I think that's the name of the company. They offer a candle making kit. Um, and I would say that should be like maybe an introduction to you to understand what candle candle making is like. And Candle Science also offers great resources on learning how to make a candle, what temperatures you need to melt the wax to, what temperature you need to add the fragrance oil, what temperature you need to pour, because those are all things that play a part in how your candle does and how the outcome looks for the candle that all of those things play a part in how fragrant your candle is all those things play a part in how long your candle burns when you pour um, a lot of people don't know that if you pour your candle wax while it's too hot sometimes you can have sink holes in the candle which means that you have holes in your candle you know what I'm saying? that you have to go back and maybe uh use a heat gun to like help fill in the gaps or pour more wax or if you pour too while your wax is too cold sometimes your wax will like melt or you know there's other things or if you add your fragrance oil while it's too hot sometimes the fragrance oil will burn off because you added it at a temperature where while it's cooling it's still too hot for that fragrance oil and some and oftentimes your fragrance oils will have the bar like the melting points where you shouldn't add this wax anywhere um above this temperature because it won't do well in the wax so i would say you know at least go on candle science website see the resources that they have they even have youtube videos and there's also so many great youtubers on here that talk about the candle making process and how to make a great candle um and that was something that played a big part in me and even understanding that there were resources and even learning about these companies to be able to start my candle business so I would say hop on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Hop on the internet and see what the internet talking about and get the conversation. Get it, just get in the mix, just get in the mix. I luckily, you know, I, I know that I'm fortunate because I live in California and there's a lot of, so, like, there are a lot of people in California that um have their warehouses and their, their facilities. Um, and I have two great facilities that I have been to personally, which are California Candle Supply. And there's another one that I can't remember right now. It's, it's Candle Supply. I'm gonna link it down below, or I'm gonna put it in a corner or something, but I can't remember, but it's in Burbank, California. And it's a huge warehouse. I feel like, I don't know what going on. I ain't never asked no questions when I walk in there, but that facility it's like two sides it's huge and they have a gang of candles to stuff they make candles there they hold candle making classes they have giant ass they had a giant candle i can't it was like 300 pound candle like maybe even more but it was a huge candle but anyway i digress but that place i that's where i get my containers from they are expensive i will say that and they don't sell candle making supplies that are common like a uh, golden wax is a common one igi Four six uh, IGI six thousand six. I don't know why I got four thousand. You know, I'm thinking about Andre six thousand. But anyways, um, they I think they only sell their brand. They don't sell wicks that are pre wicked Do they sell like them in the rolls that you have to wick things yourself? But as far as containers, they have really cute containers, and they are a bit expensive if you're buying small bulks. But they're they I recommend them because they offer um containers that a lot of other candle making suppliers um may not have i found that jars jelly jars mason jars any type of jar a pocket, a, 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 i can't even say the word apothecary jars um they, they all of the candle suppliers sell the same thing you know what i'm saying unless you go into a wooden wick i fuck with wooden wick if you go into a wooden wick, then all of the candle supplies sell the same thing, pretty much. And they're mostly jars. So I found these. Oh, I'm not going to let y'all see my label shit. 
but these are my jars i actually got these lids from candle science though because a lot of people don't have cute lids they're all wooden you know i'm like <laughs> we want some modern things um but yes yeah, so i did get my containers from that place that i don't remember the name so i think it's called candle supply i don't know but i'm gonna link it below so right now i use a soy wax i use golden wax 464 which is a hundred percent soy wax that i ordered off candle science i it is the wax that i used since the beginning of my make, candle making process and i realized that i never really tried any other waxes and i wish i did and i actually ended up trying another soy wax just on a whim because i needed to wax really fast and my candle science order was taking a lot longer than i needed it to take and i realized that there's other waxes out there that are better and i tried a, a candle wax made by california candle supply and their wax was a lot smoother it just had a better finish it looked better after it burned and i it just didn't run into the same issues that i had when i was working with golden wax and some of the issues that i run into when working with golden wax is that there's frosting there's a lot of frosting and i hear that's that's a common thing that happens with soy candles in general but also after it burns there's like a milky there's a milky shine to it that i don't like I'm actually gonna show you guys So, oh, this candle smells so wrong. But this is a tester candle. And I don't think I made this candle right because there's bubbles. But um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a milkiness to it. And I don't like that milkiness. So I decided that there's just nothing that I can do with this wax like this because I just think about it if I bought this candle and I seen it looking like that I really would be like uh, don't really like how this looks because when I buy candles from other places they just don't look like that after they burn and so but when I tried the California candle supply wax it looked so much better after it burned it just looked consistent it was just a consistent candle it didn't change after I lit it it didn't change after a lot I'm actually burning one of my candles right now because uh, I'm testing it but I just noticed a, a difference and another thing that I wish I would have tried was different wicks I know you know when I I first started making candles I bought a candle a candle making kit off of like a web off of candle science and although I really did enjoy it because it came with like 10 pounds of wax it came with it came with jars that came with wicks that were recommended for the type of jars that I had but I realized that oh I was just because I liked that or if I thought I liked that wick I stuck with it and after trying other wicks i realized there's other wicks that are better out there and a lot of people when they're first starting may run into the same issues that i ran into and i would just hope that this helps you not do the same things that i did i started with the eco wick and after making candles for so long <laughs> so long <laughs> it's been a year after making candles for as long as i've been making them and only using one wick and just recently trailing off into different types of wicks i've realized that my candles could be better and I want to make the best candle that I can possibly make to sell and to give to people and they have a great experience because I don't know about y'all but when I light a candle I'm trying to set a mood you know I'm trying to I'm trying to curate the vibes so I I don't want a candle that isn't of quality and doesn't help with those vibes <laughs> period and I thought that I wanted to take my time to really make the best candle that I can make and I think I'm on a path of doing that and I know a lot of people fall into soy wax when they first start making candles because they want to make a pure candle they want to make a healthy like a more healthy burning candle um but yes I agree with that and I, I do like soy wax but I also want to try other waxes so if you're out there and you're thinking about starting a candle business I would just say start start playing around with different waxes whether it's paraffin waxes soy waxes they also have coconut waxes um what's another one they just have all kinds of um paraffin soy waxes which is like a pair of soy wax there's so many things that you can use to make great quality candles and I would just I would just say don't stick to just one thing when you're making a candle and trying to start a business venture out with waxes soys 
I mean toys with waxes um wicks and fragrances um that brings me into my next point when you are first starting your candle business you can end up spending a lot of money I know I ended up spending a lot of money when when I try when I was just I was just open I was like all right I want to start this and I want to make it the best I can so I'm gonna just buy everything but I have come to realize that buy everything isn't always the best thing to do especially for your bank account okay and I would suggest um reading comments on candlescience.com when you're buying a fragrance oil there are a lot of comments under those fragrance oils and a lot of people leave details about what waxes they use how much fragrance oil they use and how their candles turned out and i would say if you really think you want a scent don't just rely on those comments because for me i just didn't know what kind of candles i wanted to make at all i was like i know what kind of candles i like but I'm not making candles for just me. I'm making candles for other people as well. So, you know, asking people what they like. And so, because I wasn't familiar with those scents, I wanted to try all of the scents in the world. I have all of the scents in the world that are samples. And what you'll realize is that when you small buy smaller quantities of some products, it is a lot more expensive than if you would buy the bigger, the bigger option. And I feel like I spent a lot of money buying the sample product. And I would say that if like you have a scent in mind that you think you're gonna like and I would say read the comments see what people are saying about that con um, that fragrance oil and get an idea so that you can save some money and you know maybe buy it in a bigger bowl whether it's four ounces eight ounces 16 ounces whatever floats your boat when you are still trying um, but I feel like I spent so much money on samples and I just I would just hope that somebody could learn from my experiences because I spent a lot of money. Okay. Um, no, I'm playing. But, um, <laughs> and also, which brings me to my next point, um, look up, do research. If you watched my last video, research is a big thing. Research, 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 because sometimes you can find things for a lot cheaper. And I will say that, like, all those all, all of these websites that you may find on the internet that sell fragrance oils are our candle suppliers or candle supply suppliers um they don't all have comments but candle science is a good resource but i will say like don't just stick to one website to buy your products because one sometimes you'll find them cheaper on other websites and two sometimes the quality is better i know some fragrance oils that i bought i liked more from other websites and that was just something that i had to learn but it comes into like i say it like you're gonna have to spend money to like find something that you like but i will say just try to limit or try to be intentional about what you're buying and what you're spending your money on so that you don't just frivolously spend money trying to make this product this thing when you know sometimes there's better options and just be intentional with how much you're spending and what you're buying and if it's actually necessary like some things that i bought were completely not necessary necessary but some other things were and I don't know if you guys are like me, but I buy on impulse sometimes. And I'm like, I want everything. I want the best thing. And eh, eh, that's not the smartest thing, especially if you're trying to run a business. Okay, that's what I had to learn the hard way. Um, not to say that I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on this business, because I didn't. I probably spent maybe like 500, maybe six, around there but over the course of a year so this is me trial error buying things to try them see how i like them because that is also a part of creating a business that you're proud of and uh, yeah so i really wanted to start a candle business because i wanted to make some extra money who doesn't want extra knitting just as much time to my business as i am with having a job because this was a this was something that i wanted to start so that my money could supersede the amount of money that i work for a salary and i think that a part of my process in wanting to do that was realizing how disposable i felt when i got laid off of my last job as you guys might have saw in my last video so i just want to share some news with you share some inform information with you for all you new candle start 
<laughs> candle service for all you new candle makers and business owners candle business owners i just want to be a resource for you guys and i want you guys to list some of your favorite scents down below list them list them because i want to know and i want to try them and if you have good experience with them please share please share what type of wax you use share what type of fragrance oils worth work best in your wax um tell me your burn temperatures <laughs> tell me your melting pool. like tell me everything tell me everything i want to know because i still want to learn i still want to um grow as a candle maker and make the best candle that i possibly can there are a lot of great resources here on youtube stanley handcrafted is one um there's another one that i will list below because without them i probably would have just not known where to start but they were a great resource for me and i hope that this helps with all you new candle makers that are thinking about wanting to make candles even if you just want to make candles as a hobby or if you want to make candles as a business this 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 has been super exciting to me to have to jump into something and learn from completely no knowledge and yeah i would say some of the things that have helped me is here on youtube but also joining facebook groups facebook groups i don't i didn't even get on facebook anymore i'm like facebook huh but i don't know i realized that like although i am not on facebook there are a lot of people that are still on facebook that have a lot of knowledge about certain topics and these facebook groups are truly 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 helpful especially if you're just jumping into things there are there are resources for people who are new who are sharing people that have been doing this for years and years and years or whatever you're doing but look at look into facebook groups for whatever you're trying to start and and see where it goes you know you can learn a lot i learned a lot learn a lot about the type of wax that I use. I learned that the type of wax that I use is very, very, very complicated and didn't realize it because the first batch of candles I ever made, I was on. I was like, oh, these are the best candles in the world, Craig. The best candles in the world. But I realized that they weren't the best candles in the world because I didn't have the right wick. And I didn't have the scent throw that I wanted. And anyways, I'm a rambling, but I did want to let y'all know that Y'all can do this. And I want to sh I want you guys to share your resources with me about your candle making experience, why you decided to make candles, how long you've been making candles, and any advice you would give to a new candle maker, not only for me, but for anybody else who is thinking about trying to start a candle business. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been doing and what you guys have has worked for y'all because I'm still learning. I'm still testing. I'm still growing and I haven't launched my business yet, but I'm on the road to, to launching my business on my birthday, July 3rd. And I want y'all to be a part of my family. So join the family. You know what I'm saying? Join the family. Join the family. Come on, just join. You're welcome. You are invited to the cookout. Okay? Y'all are invited to the cookout. So comment down below. Tell me what works for you. And I'm going to continue to share what works for me and what I'm up to. So thanks, y'all. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to your girl's channel. Boss Up, episode two.